Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. So today we're going to be reviewing this Claws 5000 Zerion, I believe is how you pronounce it. But this, um, take a look at the box real quick. This is the National Farm Toy Museum tractor for this year. Um, pretty good picture of it on the front there. See here a little bit about the National Farm Toy Museum. And I did go and look at that. When I was in Dyersville, Iowa, that is a pretty cool place. If you haven't gone and seen it, uh, go check it out sometime if you're ever in Iowa. So that's the box right there. Um, let's check this out. Now, one thing that's kind of special about this is this is the first Kloss toy in 1 to 64 scale that we have had in a while. Um, really, ever since I've been collecting, this is the first one that's been produced. Um, the last thing I can think of is the Claw Lexion Combine made by Norscott. And those Caterpillar tractors, and they had like a Claw version. So yeah, um, it's been a while. So this is a four-wheel drive tractor, but what is unique about this is um, it does not articulate. As you can see, it, it steers. And that's what the real one does. And then it can also crab steer, which is where both of them steer the same direction. And uh, the tractor can kind of drive sideways like this. So um, that is pretty cool. I guess that can come in handy if you're on the side of a hill or something. But let's just get into the toy. Starting at the front, we do have a three-point that moves. See this? So that is pretty cool. A lot of movement on that. Um, the hood does not open, but that's okay. And as you saw earlier, good steering on it. Nice detail on the steering underside here, as well as on the rear. Um, the hood is kind of plasticky, uh, but it does have good texture here, which is nice. Good claws logo on the grill. Headlights are painted. Um, not the greatest looking, but okay. This green is a little plasticky looking, but other than that, pretty solid. Good logo up here. We can get that zoomed in there. Claws 5000 Zerion. Uh, we do have fenders here. Good track VC, good decal there. Um, the mirrors look pretty good, and they, they have some movement to them, some foldability. Good lights up there, good Zerion decal up there. We do have a GPS up here. It's not painted. Uh, nothing on this cab is painted. It's just all solid plastic, the color of the roof. There's your National Farm Toy Museum 2021 decal. Back side of these mirrors does have a little bit of a gray reflective look to them. Good flashers on the top of them. More good lights here. Nice claws decal. I love the fire extinguisher on there. That is pretty cool as well as the 25 miles per hour decal. So that is pretty nice. You can see the steering wheel looks really nice. They've even got that little knob um, that some, some steering wheels have to help you steer them. Trying to get a good look at that screen in there. You can see there's some something going on on the screen, so that's pretty good detail. As well, you got your knobs, um, some levers, and stuff in there on that control arm. And the seat looks good as well. Let's see, we'll see if we can see it from this side. Uh, seat says Kloss on it, so that is nice as well. You can see in there. Um, to the back side here, these flashers do fold out, which is nice. Good slow moving vehicle triangle there. Our three point hitch on the rear does uh, raise and lower. Well, I say it does. Oh yeah, it does. There we go. Not a ton of movement on that, but still decent. There's the hitch on this. So more of a realistic hitch. Um, I'm not sure if many Ertl implements will hook up to that or not, but um, some spec cast ones might. Ton of detail on the back here where like our hydraulic hookups would be. 
Looks like it's got six hydraulic hookups. There's a PTO down there as well, so that is nice. We've got our lights on the back. They're they're not the greatest looking, but they did paint them. So yeah, that's that on that part. Now what probably makes this uh, toy very cool, and um, probably most of you know that this happens, is the cab. So it pops up, it's kind of spring-loaded, and it spins around and sets back down. So uh, the real ones do this in real life. Let me see, I got the flashers in the way. The real ones do this in real life, and they made the toy do that. So um, you can turn the cab all the way around, and then now if you had something on this side that you were driving this direction and wanted to watch it, you could. Um, I guess you could even drive the other way and watch what's behind you. I don't know if you'd really do that, but um, one application I've kind of seen this be handy for for tractors if they're mowing hay with a big wide mower on the front. Um, they might decide to turn it around like this so they can be right over the top of it. And your visibility is excellent from that cab to down here. And you can still run something on the back here. You can see the back or what would be normally the front. So yeah, this is really cool. And it just pops up. It's kind of spring-loaded. And it turns, drops back down, and sits on these little pegs. So yeah, I mean, that is super cool. Um, I think Ertl did a really good job, especially just getting that to function. You know, that probably took a little bit of time and effort. Um, there's also some more detail down in there. But yeah, a little bit of time and effort, but I really think that's awesome. I think Ertl did a good job. Uh, while I'm here, there is more detail here. And then I also didn't talk about the rims. They look okay. Decent tires and rims. I would have liked to have seen duels. Steps in your handrails are alright. There's a your cap for your fuel. But yeah, overall, really cool toy. Um, I think these run you somewhere in the $30, $35 price range. But for the functionality of it, I'd say that's probably a really good price. I oh, can't complain about that. Very cool tractor. Um, and hopefully we'll see more Claussen implements to come. So thanks for watching everybody.